The tank is the armored king of the battlefield. With speed and armor, it can make breakthroughs to lead to encirclement or capturing key locations. However, what if you made a tank that was for the defensive? A defensive tank. And deviously OP. A tank that shouldn't be made, but will be invented by the king of defending. Eh, defending? Defending? That's debatable, right? Anyway, regardless. France! Another episode of Did You Know This Even Existed? Right here. You see this? The Dozer Blade. It is an attachment, a module for a tank that gives entrenchment a natural way of improving defense. With great passion and enthusiasm, the French have produced many a different tank. And today we'll be producing many a defensive tank to hold ground instead of attacking. Technically, a bunker on wheels. That is the plan. Is it possible? Is it doable? Yes, it is. And I want to make it so unbelievably broken. Let's go. But first, jump into the world of Marvel and assemble all your favorite Marvel characters to fight for you. Recruit heroes and villains from across the multiverse, including Iron Man, Wolverine, Venom, and of course, many, many more. Avengers, assemble exactly how you would like for the ultimate fight to save the universe from threats such as Dr. Doom and Apocalypse. And of course, many more villains. For the constantly updating game with new characters, cosmetics, and game modes, there is something for all players to enjoy and immerse yourself in the world of Marvel. If you're a new player, you can unlock up to 17 characters within the first 30 days. Spider-Man, Deadpool, Thor, Captain America, and many more of your favorites. But is that not enough? New characters are constantly being released. For instance, this team, look out for the Hive Mind team. And Silver Surfer and the Ghost Spider are getting a brand new symbiote versions, which pair with great synergy with Venom and Carnage. Now, however, for a limited time this month, you can scan the QR code on screen or click the link in the description and that will unlock more exclusive characters for free after you've logged in. Celebrate the release of Marvel Studios Echo by unlocking Echo for free. And just for the viewers of this channel, Marvel Strike Force is offering a limited time deal. If you use the QR code or the link in the description, if you enter the promo code CARDS, you'll be given access to the character Gambit and extra resources, including 500 power cores, and five premium orbs for free. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code. And thanks again, Marvel Strike Force, for sponsoring this video. To begin, France starts off with a fantastic industry. And we're going to cement ourselves as the greatest industry in the world. Infrastructure, it's great, right? And why is it good? Because you start on civilian economy. And infrastructure is the only factory, factory, that doesn't get affected by the construction penalty. Good. Then we work on our industry. Same old, right? Classic game, right? And at the same time, we need to work on radar because that's going to give us the better radios. Motorize a little bit. Artillery is going to be anti-air artillery, a little bit of support equipment, and the rest into plain old guns. It starts. Let's go. So we're going to be defending against Germany. So the popular front is the one we're going to do. And this is the historical path. Once upon a time, I used to think this was the historical path. It's not. Someone corrected me. Next up, we're going to reform the labor laws, which in short just means we get to fix our economy by strengthening the government. It's a beeline in that direction. It's not that I want to, it's because I have to. The public demands rearmament. Wow, and I support the public. I am the public. And that gives us now a lesser penalty for building mills. So now we build mills directly off the back of that. We might as well finish those last bits of infrastructure. But now we make the mills. And now with a 100% boost to our construction because they're max infrastructure. Yes. Okay, now we're going to renew the foreign policy because you need to strengthen your government immediately. So, do what historical France would do and and buy time. Strengthen the government. French democracy can work. Or can it? Please comment below. Let me know. All right, we're going to do the one division trick. Exercise that one boyo. Getting 0.01 .01 XP per day. Not good. Improvements can be made. All right, strengthen the government. Now we have to wait. I think the best thing we can do is improve relations with the republicans we need more command power though hmm gonna be a while till we can get enough command power 
it's enough relations for now and as long as we've got 250 political power that will be enough so we'll select to focus and just wait more military factories and build them in the high infrastructure regions you don't need civvies as france trust me france is built for war all right proper heritage the biggest horse possible you know the strategy if you make this really big you get a lot of xp from exercising one of them and then when the war kicks off you'll have lots of xp and then you'll be able to make your more ideal division and then you'll be able to get all your doctrines you want and you'll be more op it's not strat it's not as effective as it used to be nowhere near as effective as it used to be but you know what it's still effective so why not right that's a lot of horse we're going to focus on light tanks there's not much of an incentive to go for a bigger tank that can have more turrets because turrets don't add extra defense so just focus on making a super heavy light super heavy Ooh. not quite no it's not gonna be super heavy it's just gonna be light it's gonna be a state-of-the-art defensive light tank all right got 50 command power now so now we can throw an attache we're over 25 war support now so we can do partial mob that was the plan all along really 1937 partial mob as friends mm, that's pretty good now you can see the speed we pump out mills is insane we want to boost the economy some more devalue the frank you know what disperse three i'm gonna rush it just for the building slots a tank will it be this one mm, no so breakthrough is what you get from the turret so we're not gonna be focusing on that when it comes down to the turret do i want flexibility or do i want it to keep it simple we'll keep it simple first then we can upgrade if we need to ah the machine gun adds two defense smoke launchers two defense extra ammunition storage though is for defense we can add as many of those on as we want but they're giving you a total defense 26 that's pretty impressive but the reliability suffers but what we can do to min max this is wet ammunition storage to mitigate the reliability damage and also replace one of them with a radio giving that 20 percent extra defense and it gives me 13 defense overall with a 77 breakthrough with 77 reliability and to top that off welded armor for the defense for the armor and then we can go torsion bar for the extra reliability max the armor out 85 reliability defense oh, all these tank models look awful that looks disgusting and i'm gonna select it in that case oh it's disgusting i love it all right this is looking good so now we just need to assign the factories on and we're producing now two of these per day that's some good production to say that we started off with nothing i've just had a thought what if this became an aa tank consequence is we lose hardness oh i think this might be it the defensive aa tank decent armor decent yeah this is it the aa defensive boom i'm feeling the itch of a space marine here and finally we can fix the government defensive stratagems defensive it knows they know what does the perfect division look like i think it's going to be something like this 24 combat worth that's a lot of aa yeah this is the one oh and a crown for a republic that makes sense engineer two we need some dozer blades let's do it so engineers now only give entrenchment for leg infantry so you can see now for every battalion of leg infantry you gain 0 0.2 entrenchment giving a total of 3.8 entrenchment for this division however if you look at a tank division and you add on the engineer the entrenchment is only two i presume no i actually don't know where the two is coming from is that the base amount yeah the base amount's two ah that's the minimum so it's not adding any additional entrenchment on top of that any further so entrenchment has well and truly been nerfed however if you have the dozer blade things change boom full army of horse converts to proper infantry defensive infantry tonk oh what do you think about it this is pairing well because the engineer is actually giving me boosts for my leg infantry oh it's all working it's all coming part of the plan all part of the plan and now i think about it too motorized recon companies also give the biggest amount of defense as well so this is well and truly equipped for defense hang on a sec that's another question oh i've got all the questions today once again i don't use to build defense so this is all new to me so a single battalion of motorized is 24.2 defense a single battalion of infantry is 24.2. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. So they are the same. Oh, poor France, you have no fuel. Soviets are going to have to help us out, boost that economy. Okay, we've lost war support, so we're going to have to invest in someone else's economy. And it is going to be China. Chinese don't like us because we control a part of their mainland. Oh, well, you're going to have to get over that. Deal with your enemy to defeat your enemy. Yes. 
And now we have more war support so we don't have to demobilize our economy. Keep that economy rolling. Engineer 2, done. So how can we modify the tank to give it more of what we want? And what do we want? Defense. So suddenly we lose some defense with this, five points, but we gain an additional one entrenchment. Massive, right? Eh, kind of. So the beauty of this, is now for every single tank that we add on, you can see the entrenchment increases by exactly one. So if you were to make a very strange tank that is very, very, very cheap, but full of light tanks, you potentially can have 13, well, 12 or 13 entrenchment. That's pretty insane to say it's a tank. A tank that digs. Kind of a tractor. No, it is a tractor. That's what it is. Say it what it is. Call it what it is. All right, three armies now. The hottest of light tanks. Get those boys exercised to level three. I'm feeling very confident about this, you know. These tanks are pretty, pretty, pretty well-rounded. I don't know, I'm quite impressed. So the focus is for defense. Faster construction for forts. Oh, not great. Uh, this one gives free forts, I believe, and upsets Italy. Extend the measure line further. I, I mean, this is pretty defensive. And then we can get rid of our victors of the Great War. It really sucks to win, doesn't it? I never really quite understood that. But France... Netherlands and Britain, they uh, they don't like being winners. Yes, you're suffering for a penalty for winning the Great War. Hmm, you won. Get over it. So you can't select the defensive guy, the improvement. You have to unassign him and then reassign him. You're not allowed to upgrade. He has to step down and the other guy goes, you know what, I could do a better job. So it seems. Alpine Fort, so this adds two forts to all these locations. So what you can do, there's actually a glitch for this. You can basically add one fort here and then it makes it a total of three. And because they cost more, the higher level you go, this is obviously a worthwhile trade. Oh, look, there you go. All the forts go up. Ah, see, the cost's gone up significantly. You can see they build significantly slower for the final part portions. The final portions. All right, so the plan is going to be this. We're going to split this guy off into two. You're going to go here. Remember, we're playing defensive, okay? We're going to let the enemy come to us. Build a port here. Build a railway from here to here. Then we'll have another army on the Maginot. Another army goes here. And then the third army is just going to kind of hang around in Paris for now. And then we'll train another army on the back of this too. Another one, another one, another one. Actually, that's not true. We've run out of manpower. So we can't do that. We need extensive conscription. And war has returned to Europe. I realize I've not actually joined the Allies. Ooh. Is there a focus I've missed? Oh yeah, go with Britain. Whoops. I guess what I could do is guarantee the Netherlands and then it'll suck me into the Allies anyway. It's almost like I know where this war's going, isn't it? Preemptively make a decision ahead of time. Extend the Maginot line and this is exactly the same thing. So if you want to really cheese this, you just do exactly what I'm just doing right now. Ah, free forts. Because remember, it's not setting the total amount of forts to this level. What it's actually doing is it's actually adding an additional plus two on. So once again, I, I, I think you could cheese this by adding four levels of forts and then get it to level six or something. And that'll be like an extremely dense fort to get through. All right, Netherlands has been attacked. We're now at war with Germany. UK, ask me to join the allies, please. Yes, there we go. And now we have World War II for reals this time. Okay, we got a navy, so we might as well use it. We'll do strike force for the entirety of the Mediterranean. I'll just deny them from doing any naval invasions because the amount of naval supremacy we've got is pretty huge. All right. The very first skirmish by the Germans. Pushing in, dealing one damage and hitting a defensive wall of 1,000 defense. <laughs> uh, yeah, that ain't going to go so well. No, that's not, that's not going to happen. <laughs> so just be aware, for every single point of entrenchment, gives additional, I think, 3% extra defense to the division. So this amount of defense might seem a bit pathetic, but that amount will go exponentially, being the fact that I'm France. I've got the defense of the Maginot, which gives, there it is, extra 25% planning. Top that off as well, we have loads of defensive generals. So the entrenchment is pretty sky high. All right, okay, the action has begun right now. So I think we're gonna create our four bat line on our own version of the Maginot here. Get forward as quick as you can. And build entrenchment. Dig in, boys. Dig in deep. Belgium, I'm so sorry, but we're not coming to your front line to defend you. This is like World War II, for real. Okay, extensive conscription, we're gonna have to do that. And then we'll probably do war economy. Now we can train a bunch of extra divisions. We'll train another 24. 
put them on low priority so we'll maintain garrisons in our existing divisions first and their entrenchment is getting super high well we want to focus on defensive divisions you know what we have to do from here right you know how we take it a step further well the next logical step further is mechanize because mechanize have insane defense when you stack them higher and higher and higher they go through the roof or well, it's debatable really if it's worth losing entrenchment to gain defense i love to see the numbers on this i suppose this, this is a live action experiment of that i guess Okay, we've got the worker shortage, and the only way to fix that is to fix the immigration issue, which we can do that here. So how are the front lines going? This is the hardest front they're pushing into us right now, and they're hitting a wall of a thousand defense. One thousand defense. And they're just straight up being denied. Yep, just straight up. Nope, denied. You're not coming any further forward. <laughs> Plus, this is a really bad position for him to be in, because the supply here is really, really bad. You have an opportunity, Germany. You've got to break France pretty quickly and smoothly, as they did historically. But if you don't, you're in a bit of a pickle. So right now, what's happening is they're actually getting a, an advantage over us here. As you can see here, they are actually breaking it. And if you look really closely, the defense on these divisions aren't as good as some of these divisions. And it's a simple explanation why is they've lost their entrenchment. This is an unentrenched division, 899 defense. This one is 1,400. So this is the big, big downside of entrenchment. You can't move. And if you end up losing a tile and getting pushed back, you lose all that entrenchment. It's gone. Okay. I think this front line needs to be reorganized a little bit. So what we're going to do is make a field marshal front line and then half of you boyos and then go to this front. Because this front line is quite frankly unbreakable. It's mountains, it's forts, it's entrenched. It's not breakable at the moment. So we can just split off half the divisions from here and send them to this front line and they can... Uh, do a really good job at uh, holding that front line, giving an extra tiny layer of defense. It might not seem like this is the right thing to do, but them bashing against me over and over again, this position is the right thing for the German AI to do. Because once again, they have to break my entrenchment. If they're not able to, they were there, then they'll never be able to break it. Because once again, entrenchment only breaks if they push me out of the province or if I choose to withdraw from it. So that's really good by them. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm like, I'm gonna double down on exactly what you're trying to do here. And I'm gonna basically get another fort. I'm extend the measure now to the front line that you pushed onto. You know what? Surprisingly, I've forgotten about spies. If I had a full spy network on them, they would have no planning bonus and they're having a 38% attack. That would have completely denied them from moving even a single step forward. Wow. Infantry defense plus 13%. Now that'll have an impact. But then, oh, plus five entrenchment. And if you look really closely, when you enable that, you notice all the entrenchment drops down as it climbs up to the new maximum. All right, I don't think they're going to break this now. That's it. You can also get an infantry specialist. Yeah, they might as well. Gains me an extra bit more defense. 10%. Yeah, sure. Yeah, this is well and truly denied. Meanwhile, in Africa, yeah, my front hasn't even moved. Uh, meanwhile, Britain's like, hi, naval invasion. We control the Mediterranean. And also, uh, I holding my ground in Corsica. I need to hold on to this one province. I don't care about the other ones, so I just sit here. All right, they've made another breakthrough. See, every now and then the entrenchment breaks and they do actually manage to get a little extra bit of a foothold. Tiny, tiny pushes, tiny, tiny breaks. And once again, another one here as well. Ooh, I think we've got a real game on our hands here, lads. So right now, they still maintain a large amount of dominance in the air with Cass. Because of that, they're getting an air support advantage. We're getting an air superiority reduction from our end. So they're in a really good position to do good damage to us until they run out of their air power. We have a lot of AA on the ground. So when that happens, it's going to be over. No lie, I am actually impressed by this. But we're now down from 1,000 cast down to 250. The offensive capabilities are limited now. Okay, let's double down in entrenchment then and planning bonus. I guess we go down here. And then what do we got here? So this is Org, Defense, Soft Attack, Night Attack. And the left side is Planning. I guess Defensive here? Logist logistics companies add defense for infantry. <laughs> I never even thought that was a thing. Okay, I guess we're going for logistics companies as well then. Forgot that was even a thing. Oh, this is not good. They've broke around the back of the Maginot line here. So it means I'm probably going to have to extend the front line all the way across. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that. There we go, delete that front line. Damn, this is looking pretty messy. We have our first mechanized too. Okay, I think it's time to get fuel from America. And are we holding now? 
surprisingly the the strongest point was the initial holding and then they're kind of they're kind of like wrapping around us now every now and then you've got to say credit where credit's due ai is holding it makes me wonder if i'd max the maginot line the extension the Maginot line out how effectively that that front could have been i'm gonna admit these front lines are absolutely disgusting i'm not happy with them all all right i guess we're gonna pull out the maginot line because it looks like it's about to cripple and fall oh it's so sad that it's the actual it's not the actual maginot line that actually falls to they just wrap around the back of it gonna give credit to the ai here they're uh, doing a splendid job of holding me in place here all right i guess you guys part of a separate army and you're just gonna hold the maginot usually at this point i throw this, this campaign away and say this is done it's never going to be recovered it is what it is you know you can't win them all uh but you know what man i, I kind of like it where this is going because this is a test to see how effective this style tank actually is and i'm uh, i'm interested to see where the conclusion of it goes so we're doing on the surrender limit 34 percent. remember we've got rid of disjoint government so that's reduced the penalty we have for a surrender limit oh that's such a shame he's trapped as well this is what it is so defensiveness what can we do i guess ambush is worthwhile and then also in wielding defender i would have liked the logistics company but i don't even think we can do anything with supply it's really surprising how well they hold the marginal line even though they're out of supply you'd think at some point they run out of ammunition wouldn't you Ooh, look at this division almost three thousand defense <laughs> you aren't breaking through this now i'll be fair this track could have been way more effective if i just went cripple ham on the extended maginot but i didn't want to do that i wanted to test the ability of the tanks and see how effective they actually were i thought that would be kind of lame if i just kind of focused on using forts it's not about the forts we're here to test out the power of defensive tanks if an entrenchment speed specialist why not goes with the synergy of defense isn't it double downing on the defensive strategy all right i think the americans have joined no would you like to join the faction maybe no join the faction maybe okay they've stopped for a really long time now and they've let me get my entrenchment up to 78 percent so now even if they do break the measure which they will eventually they're gonna be in a really bad position because they're gonna have to break my fully entrenched divisions this front line might be the furthest they can actually extend we'll see another episode of something dave forgotten about is you can set a preferred tactic and what we could do is the best defensive tactic possible and that would be elastic defense which i believe counters blitzkrieg oh my god defense two thousand per division <laughs> they're reducing it by 20 percent as well with air superiority so uh, just a tiny little bit of air power with this would have gone a long long way okay i might regret doing this we're gonna do a little counter attack oh, can i save these divisions is it possible oh it's looking good why are they doing so much effectively on the offensive what's happening and yep we've saved one of them i cannot believe that just happened i cannot believe it buys you back into the fight you've been saved and look at them they're all veterans and seasoned <laughs> can we save these guys in the north too that's going to be more difficult because we have to break through the maginot to get to the maginot no that's probably not going to be doable that's a it's a bridge too far okay logistics can be added on now this logistics company will now add 22 defense on per battalion of infantry not that impressive is it really mm, no here we go for it yeah let's do it let's do it smell an encirclement and i'm gonna pursue it yeah, it's not an encirclement but we're pushing them back so if i replace one mechanized with one infantry battalion that is a net gain of 37 defense but we lose 0.2 entrenchment oh no that's a hundred percent worth it no a hundred percent but we need a lot of mechanized to do this i love this part of the maginot line i love it if you check the defense it's like 2000 3000 ai tried to break it nope denied oh we're down to seven divisions here oh three oh so many have been lost i'm getting so close to liberating them that makes me super sad brave boys have fought for so long and the maginot pocket has closed we tried our best to liberate it but we they fought bravely they'll be honored after the war with a medal and they will be thankful meanwhile libya has been liberated oh well it's for certain the front line now is in my control let's have a look at the intel so if we look into their army we can see 69 percent of the divisions are supplied so their ability to do offensives now is unbelievably limited see they're having uh 
unrest problems here in this region and also in the Maginot 2 preferred tactic the Blitzkrieg ah classic Germany oh I could do desperate defense I wonder if that gives 20% breakthrough as well yeah let's do it let's do it aggressive boom let's go oh my so remember we're not defeating them based on raw firepower here by the way we're defeating them because they've damaged their division so badly they their divisions lack stats so their ability to do any kind of defense here never main offense is broken and we are liberating france with france it wasn't the allies this time it was actual france real france big france big boy france absolutely devastating now it's jates classic united states joining the war super late i've already taken care of this okay this job is already done oh our first part of german territory that we actually directly occupy very max humiliation infantry tanks level six awesome we can apply a policy is there anything that's going to give defense yes factory applied camouflage and it doesn't even to be upgraded maybe that's bugged that might be bugged oh brutal another encirclement one in cherbourg one in brest and another one in i can't i'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce it french not my first language oh my goodness the counterattack. oh my god this is devastating I think a little bit of mechanizing as well. Having huge gains on all the stats. Someone should tell Paradox that Germany really shouldn't do Barbarossa if France still exists. Denmark! No, I will not attack you. I'm not going to fall for that trick again. I think tells me this is bugged. Oh no, for a second I thought it said, it said 2,000 breakthrough and I was thinking, 2,000 breakthrough? No, that seems about right. The amount of damage they're doing is very high because a lot of these guys are veterans. Just seems like they've been winning, getting skilled in battle, but not really taking many losses. I suppose that's what happened when you're on the defensive for a really long period. Frontline has been held for so long. It doesn't even matter because it's broke from the other side. Is it Bulgaria again? No, it's everyone. No. No, it is Bulgaria again. Oh, panic for a second. And I thought Norway was a major power. Pop. And this is why France shouldn't make defensive tanks. Marvelous. The highway through Europe. Are defensive tanks effective? I mean, it does seem that way. If you added a little bit of air power into the mix, just a little bit of air superiority, maybe or 15 mils onto fighters, that would have made me hold all of France. Apart from that, goodbye. Au revoir. Click this video if you want more of this content.